before. <laughs> When I was a kid, I, I wanted to be a singer. You know, a torch singer like Peggy Lee or Ella Fitzgerald. I even had a stage name picked out. Marlena Albrecht. Marlena. The smoky room. Martini in my hand. Spotlight. Just me, center stage. With a hep cat backing you up on a stand-up bass. <laughs> I'd wear gloves, long black gloves. I'd have an opium problem. <laughs> Slap that bass! <laughs> you are some messed up white people. Why? The TV is off. Yeah, I turned it off. Well, but now it's off. <laughs> we have a mission. We didn't come to this planet to watch television. Yeah, but it's given us a reason to stay. <laughs> just as bizarre as Harry, and he's completely self-centered. Oh, don't be absurd. Behold the glory that is me. <laughs> I'm creating a new society. <laughs> Our society. I call it Dick Sylvania. <laughs> watch, watch. As I become the most obnoxious, repulsive creep any woman has ever met. Wow. <laughs> Yet. This rock and roll music has got to stop! Why? Because it's loud and rhythmic. And rhythm can lead to dancing. Rock and roll music preaches a gospel of easy sexuality and relaxed morality. And I will not endorse an enterprise which is as fraught with peril as I believe this one to be! Dick, this guy's kind of a big shot, so when you meet him, try not to act so... Brilliant? No. Athletic? Well, and gorgeous. Weird. Weird as is and sexy. Why does everybody keep saying that we are weird? Can't be Tommy. Tommy looks like a girl. Oh. No, I went to the mega cuts. Well, if you're Tommy, answer me this: Are we or are we not aliens? Yeah, Dick, we are. Oh, I Tommy. Just... I'm not gonna lie to you, fellas. Don likes the ladies. So, um, maybe you wanna go get some lunch? Well, I'm on duty, and uh, I oh yeah. <laughs> I'm real hungry. Open the door, Dick! Sorry, maybe Dick needs some time to cool off. I know, but my bedroom's through his. <laughs> can it wait? Yeah, I guess it can. I just thought we could have sex now. <laughs> Dick, I'm gonna count to three, and then I'm blowing the locks off! Oh, look. <laughs> Where'd it go? Where'd what go? I don't know. I'll just uh, go grab my sweater, okay? Oh.
underpants. Oh, and if you needed underpants, you could have just asked. I took them because I'm a man, and I couldn't resist touching something that had been so close to you. Really? I'm so sorry. I can't believe you, of all people, would come into my house and do something so damn swell. You know we're talking underpants here. Here, Don. Keep them. And when you look at them, think of me. Okay. Oh. Take the bra. It's a matching set, so... God bless you. Women. 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 Women! You can't live with them, and you can't have heterosexual sex without them. I was out with the boys, and I actually noticed other women. The skinny ones had beautiful cheekbones, and uh, yeah, the more ample ones, well... Let's just say, baby, got back. Will someone please explain why I struck out last night when all Sally had to do was grunt? I don't know, Dick. Could be the boobs. They are terrific. Well, uh, you could put an ad in the personals. You just uh, describe yourself and the kind of woman you want to meet. Okay, here, uh, take this down. Uh, desperate, lonely, white guy. <laughs> Seeks acclaimed beauty queen. Runners up need not apply. How about this? If you believe in miracles, love at first sight, and breakfast in bed, contact me for adventures in truth. <gasps> what a wonderful lie! Let's print it! This weekend, Mary and I are celebrating our anniversary. Anniversary of what? The second anniversary of our first real date. And it's real date consequences in fur at will. Oh. Oh. She's not even your girlfriend. Well, we don't choose to restrict ourselves with terms like girlfriend and boyfriend. We don't corral our emotions. No, we let them run free on the open plains of ambiguity. <laughs> so Mary won't let you call her your girlfriend. She prefers that I don't. <laughs> an Earth woman having a physical relationship with an extraterrestrial, well, that's got to be about a billion to one. Oh, Dr. Albright, that was the greatest 30 seconds of my life. This is the happiest day of my life. You look so beautiful. And I look smashing in my tuxedo. My bow tie matches my cummerbund. You're not wearing a cummerbund. Yes, I am. You're supposed to wear it on the outside. <laughs> that explains the rash. Stop! Stop! You're ruining my tuxedo! Stop! Are you all right? Oh, Mary. I had another one of those horrible dreams. Well, what happened? Uh, we were getting married. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not worried. When we first came here, Mary hated me, and I won her over. I can do it again. You really think so? Of course. She won't be able to stay away for long. Not with an album full of naked pictures of me. <laughs> she has naked pictures of you? Not yet. Harry, get the camera. I just noticed that you're Tom, Dick, and Harry. <laughs> so? <laughs> so Tom, Dick, and Harry. You know, like, Harry, Tom, Dick, and Harry. I mean, we just picked names at random when we got here. <laughs> I mean, when we landed. Five, six, seven, eight. Chain 
letter. It, it's just a, a random, meaningless piece of mail, but Nina seems to think that throwing it away could cause bad luck. Oh, please, that's stupid. There's like a billion to one chance those two things are at all related. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, just like there's a billion to one chance that aliens from a distant galaxy would actually visit this crappy little planet. <laughs> I'm gonna go buy that crock pot. We have a crock pot. We just lost one crock pot and gained one crack pot. What you did there, Harry? Ah, Harry let other people define him. Harry let other people tell Harry who Harry was. Well, a chandelier fell on Harry. Harry's dead. Then who are you? I'm AJ. <laughs> This is the loosest machine on the boat. Harry, it's a change machine. That's right, it's changing me into a winner. <laughs> Hi, Nick. Kid, or am I seeing things? Well, actually, it's a little of both. <laughs> More chips? Yeah. I'm just getting a cookie. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Jackknife in my pocket. If you can reach it, we can cut through these ropes. Okay. All right, uh, Harry, lean to your left. Oh, okay. All right, now, Sally, turn right. Turn right. Oh. All right, and it's. Can you feel it? It's right where your hand is. Uh, it's. I can't reach it. Uh, keep trying. You're almost there. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Careful, Sally. That's not. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh boy. I got it. <laughs> Mail's here. Ah, the mail. What would a day on Earth be like without the mail? Probably a lot like Sunday. <laughs> ah, hello, family. Hey, Mail's here. Ah, oh, the mail. What would a day on Earth be like without the mail? <laughs> Probably a lot like Sunday. <laughs> no, that's very clever. Uh, wait, I said that. Oh, really? <laughs> How sad. <laughs> My arms are stick thin. I I shave like once a month. My ass is flat. Sweetie, listen to me. Don't be so hard on yourself, okay? I mean, I, I'm sure there are a lot of girls who are more than willing to settle for a tiny little wussy like you. Are you gonna be okay? Mm hmm <laughs> Oh, come here, little buddy. Come on. <laughs> Sally, sex isn't always all it's cracked up to be. How would you know? <laughs> I don't. If you want to pose, you gotta have all the right moves. <laughs> I got the right moves, baby. <laughs> you don't have the moves, do you? No. <laughs> well, the first thing you gotta remember, you always look surprised to see their boobs. <laughs> Like they're seeing them for the first time. That is so sexy. So try to remember how it felt the first time you saw your boots. You know, like right after we landed on Earth. <laughs> That's good. Now try it after you discovered how much fun they were. John, why do you have to go? Why, Sally? Because ten years ago, I took an oath. An oath to protect and serve this city. And nothing, 
Not even the prospect of lying in bed, naked, with the sexiest, most beautiful woman I've... What the hell am I... Now, you also gotta remember to look sorta sleepy and paranoid. Sleepy and paranoid? Yeah, yeah, cause the women in these magazines, they're always stretching. Looking behind themselves to see if somebody's watching. <laughs> but don't smile, okay? Guys don't like it when a woman smiles. They're like I'm pouty or angry. Angrier. Hate me. Good. It's a girl thing you wouldn't understand. town road to pick up strawberries. Wow. You're back quick. You want to know why I came back so fast? I got to the end of our driveway and I couldn't remember which way to go. Yeah, I went into our backyard and nothing looked familiar to me. Not one damn tree. Scared me half to death. Believed that by wearing this sheath over their. That by wearing this sheath, they would ward off all misfortune. Oh, great. Can I wear it? It didn't work, Dick. They were wiped out by a volcano. Are there any volcanoes in Ohio? No. Oh, great. <laughs> then I'll wear it. No. <laughs> Smells like hell anyway. What are you doing? Looking for infrared sensors. <laughs> Smells like pine cones. They were out of country meadows. <laughs> this is it. This is the document Judith was hiding. Quick, stuff it in my underpants. What? It's the heat. Very. <laughs> moment. Don't spoil it. <laughs> but it's just... Shh. I'm really... Shh. <laughs> Happy New Year, Mary. Happy New Year, too.
Hey, this is great, man. Okay, moving right along.